It came obvious to every one of us that a good and robust freight transport network was critical for the region. If Greater Bunbury is set to grow, one of the key drivers will be the need to get our produce or products to market. It will need to be competitive and efficient. Plus, it will need to access markets all around the world. The use of rail in the region was identified as being a key element in any expansion plan, along with key road infrastructure. What we need to do is unlock the road, uh, the rail and the port to actually enable the flow of this freight um, and make the region develop and grow. Bunbury already has a successful port, which exports 16 million tonnes each year. It's steadily been growing by 3% each year for the past 15 years. We expect to, that trade to continue in the future, um, and because this port is linked to high consumption countries in India and China and Japan. The growth in agriculture and food industries was also identified as a key driver and an opportunity. A move to containerisation of the port in the future would bring new options for industry. This would unlock new markets and give local growers a formidable network for their business to expand. More traditional industry still has growth potential as well. We have great mineral deposits, uh, forestry and grain and agriculture that we can support for the future. An important challenge for transport growth, particularly in rail and roads, was the availability of land. But that's not a constraint for the port. It has significant land holdings ready for future industries and users. It's also a port that has a very large um, amount of land, 300 hectares of land, ready for development. And this was one of the critical um, opportunities that we've identified in the cluster. In the meantime, the port is now looking into non-destructive intermediate uses to better utilise the land.